Prince William and Kate, the Prince and Princess of Wales, took to Twitter to publicly wish King Charles a happy birthday on the day he turned 74. Via their official Twitter account, the royals wrote, wishing a very happy birthday to His Majesty the King. The pair also included in their post a picture of the monarch, showing him smiling widely during an engagement. The Prince and Princess of Wales message comes shortly after the royal family Twitter account also marked the first birthday of Charles as the sovereign of the country. The tweet read, wishing His Majesty the King a very happy birthday today. This birthday comes two months after the King's accession to the throne. Given Charles's reign is still in its early stages, Buckingham Palace has yet to announce whether the monarch will follow the tradition started by King George III in the mid-1700s to celebrate his birthday on a summer day with public celebrations. The late Queen, whose birthday was in April, retained this tradition and, while she spent her real birthday privately with her family, she normally marked her official one on a Saturday in mid-June by attending Trooping the Colour. Her official birthday would also see the announcement of the yearly birthday honours. King Charles, who stepped out yesterday to lead the nation during the Remembrance Sunday commemorations, is expected to spend the day privately with Queen Camilla. Nevertheless, the King's birthday will be publicly marked by a number of military performances throughout the day. At 11 a.m., during the traditional changing of the guard at Buckingham Palace, the band of the Household Cavalry will perform a rendition of Happy Birthday dedicated to Charles. One hour later, the King's Troop Royal Horse Artillery will be firing 41 volleys at London's Green Park, after which the band of the Scots Guards will also play Happy Birthday. Finally, at 1 p.m., the Honourable Artillery Company will fire a 62-gun salute at the Tower of London. Kate and Prince William stepped out alongside King Charles twice over the weekend ahead of his birthday. On Saturday, they headed to the Royal Albert Hall to attend the Royal British Legion's Festival of Remembrance, which included a poignant tribute to the late Queen, the longest-serving British head of the armed forces. The programme, broadcast by the BBC, also marked the 40th anniversary of the Falklands War. On Sunday, the three royals were among the senior members of the firm to take part in the National Service of Remembrance. In front of thousands of veterans and military families, King Charles laid for the first time his poppy wreath as the head of the armed forces. Prince William followed through, laying his and Kate's as the Prince of Wales, a title he was given by the monarch on September 9, 